Hi, um, I'm Louise. This is the Expert Introvert blog. Um, thank you for joining me. Um, it has been a while. In fact, I guess I have been such an expert introvert um, that I haven't actually videoed anything since Vlogmas. Yeah, that's been a while because it's now the 3rd of August. Um, I did in fact have every intention of starting podcasting probably again in March but um, there is some sad news um, my beautiful gorgeous purry furry Merlin McPerlin um, became ill um, we had actually I'm gonna tell the story if you don't want to listen to the details um, I'm not going to go into huge detail, but if you don't want to hear the stuff, um, I will be putting in a little compilation of his greatest hits or something. A bit, a bit of video of his very purry self. Um, yes. So if you don't want to hear what exactly happened, please do fast forward. Um... I'll try and put in a link down below or something, or at least a note to say what time that's at. I'll see what I can do. Um, yeah, so he'd been a bit up and down um, for the last, well, since before Christmas. Um, I think I'd had him to the vet, I think November, um, and it was all problems with his tummy. Uh, <clears throat> Um, and that was sort of on and off, and he, he rallied, he recovered, and he was his usual happy self. Um, and then in March, it sort of happened again. Um, took him to the vet, they gave him some stuff, he seemed to improve. Um, and then after sort of two or three weeks, he went downhill again. So I took him back, and they examined him, um, further, and they said that there... Is there was a mass um, which they had felt before but they thought it was because he was a bit bunged up um, but then they felt it and it had increased in size um, they weren't 100% sure what it was um, it could have been his glands had gone up and because he had a he'd got a bit of a um, infection thing that's not the word but anyway fever sort of right um yeah so we tried some more medication he they did some investigations um and it came back that it probably you know, it was a, a tumor we didn't do the full biopsy so you know it was i don't know if it was you know um benign or or malignant but that didn't really matter because of where it was it wasn't operable um, and so as I say, they, we tried a couple of other things to see if it could improve it in case it was, you know, um, fixable through medication. Um, but, um, towards the end of April, um, he went downhill quite fast, poor baby. Um, he was very poorly and, um, so had to call the vet um thankfully when i did call them um the lovely savannah was with me and she suggested um asking if the vet would come here um which i did and they did um so it was much nicer than having to stuff him in the box and take him to the vet um with my xandermog um 10 years ago uh he was already at the vets so that was you know not a stressful extra thing. So, um, yeah, the vet came here. They were very, very lovely. Um, and I was able to cuddle him and he just peacefully went to sleep. Um, I'm not crying, you're crying. Yeah, so that was my Zan, uh, not my Zandamog. Well, it was my Zandamog. But yeah, my gorgeous Merlin McPerlin, my cuddly boy. Um, 
aged 11, 29th of April. He's gone off to probably be pushed around by BB and ignored by Snoopy and cuddled by the Xandamog. Yeah, so um, I will now put in some clips of him and you can see his lovely furry self. Have you found the drawer that's got the fluff in it? Want to do some spinning? Uh huh. What do you think's under there? the fluff. So you want me to take that out, do you? Hold on then. I don't think you're going to be able to squeeze in there. This is the face of a kitten who knows there's buttered toast. You want it, don't you, Marilyn? <laughs> you need it.
Sadly for you, you won't be getting it because it's my breakfast. Yes. We're going a bit far now. Nope. finish my breakfast before I lose it. Yeah, well done. No! <laughs> we love the new banana. Show Granny your banana. Merlin. This he didn't sit right in front of the computer, I guess. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Hopefully he'll lay down. Hello all. It's cat -a day for you um, on Catterday the 2nd of October <laughs> what are you looking at Molly? something over there so this is what we've got today Pretty much it, really. Um, the weather has been revolting, um, and this one gave me a thorough weather report when you came back in, didn't you, Pud? Very loudly and clearly. Yeah, thanks for that. Um, I can't think of much else to say. It's going to be a very, very short little vlog. And we've got a purry purry soundtrack all the way through. Yeah. I'll come back in a minute if I can think of something to actually say. Oh, there he goes. Good morning, Merlin. Thanks. Ow. Ow. Okay, so that was my beautiful boy. But we've got some happy news. I don't do well with catlessness. So, um, I, I mean, obviously I, I didn't want to replace Merlin. I was not replacing him. 
um because you couldn't because they're all different you know anyhow um so i started looking for another um feline supervisor um i was looking for a little boy um well actually not a little boy a you know ideally big chunker um good double armful that was the plan um but because i live in a flat on the first floor and i don't have direct access to a garden a lot of the um rescue centers won't um home a cat with you that isn't an indoor cat and there's not that many cats who are indoor cats and if they are they might have medical problems um which if i was in good health and etc etc i would have been all right with that um but i'm not um and i sort of i need a snuggle bud um yeah so i was looking for a boy a fuzzy boy to uh, come and live with me and tell me what to do as they do um and i ended up looking in a few places and then i tried a couple of independent catteries there was one in um eastbourne um which is honey cat um and they are lovely people um but they didn't have um a chappy who was right for me at the time um there was this absolute gorgeous big ginger boy who I absolutely would have had but he wasn't ready to go um, and they didn't know when he would be because he did have an owner but she was in hospital and they couldn't track her down um, it was a whole thing um, so I also looked rather further afield um, to a cattery in New Haven Denton Cat Rescue um, again really lovely people and um, I had a look on their Facebook page. They had a few cats there, but it hadn't been updated for a little while, so I gave them a ring. And they said to me that yes, they had a few boy cats um, of ages from sort of between two and well, I think they had some quite, but there was sort of between two and, and eight um, that I was okay to look at. And uh, one of them. Was called Merlin <laughs> or they were calling him Merlin they didn't know what his original name was and I thought it's a sign and they sent me pictures of some of the some of the lads they had there um, and um, they were well all of them I thought oh look at them they could come home with me <laughs> um, so I went to see them um, I actually got on the train by myself, went to New Haven. <laughs> so all you have to do to get me out of the house, dangle cats. <laughs> um, I was obviously feeling all right. It's the first time I have done something like that for so many years. It's ridiculous. And I managed it. So I am quite pleased with myself. Um, I might even put in a bit of footage of my trip now, because I did take some. And you will also see bit of footage of some tiny kittens that they had there two litters the mums were sisters they were all together so cute as you will now see hello miss fluff you're a very pretty girl, aren't you? I can't see. It's not very good. Kobe! Sure, that's the lights a bit. boy's name, isn't it? Kobe. Hello, Merlin. No, Archie. Hello, Archie. Oh. Hello, darling. Very photogenic. You are. You're a beautiful boy. Shall we focus on you a bit better? There we go. Oh, that colour is 
Oh, dear. Back. Good shout, you're afraid. They like that basket over there, don't they? Yes. It's good for, for the hanging off of, isn't it? Right. I'll have a look at those that you said you put out up the top. Oh. Right, they should be able to climb in up. Hello. Hello. Hello, Mummy. This one's very pretty. She yes. should have been a girl. Is that a little boy? That's a boy. Should Hello, little girl. boy. Hey. Yeah, oh, yeah so I want to get out of it, don't I? <laughs> Well, they're headed towards where the food is, but I think yeah. I'll, I'll take this one out now. Remember to carry a bottle of water with you during the whole way back. If you feel unwell, please stop drinking. If you need assistance, then please ask them for help and remember to stop. the adorable little fluffy kittens and a bit of travel thing yeah you just saw it it was there so I met the puds and there were two boys in particular who um, I particularly you know I particularly liked there was Ed who was a big great big black and white cat um, and he was sort of eight or nine and he was very friendly very sweet and there was this Merlin, who was a white and ginger tabby boy. Um, and he was very shy. He was hiding in his igloo. But put your hand in. He was like, oh yes, have some strokes. And he was very sweet. And, um, mm, Hello. We're not terribly keen on that. Grab. Here he is. Except you're not Merlin anymore, are you, darling? Meet Archimedes. Archie for short. I better put him back down or he's going to get stroppy. Oh, that cute little bird does. But yeah, quite well. Considering he quite often isn't that keen on being picked up. Well, it's not that he's not keen, um, but he's um, not used to it. So, there we are. Here's my new little friend, and I will add a bit of a couple of pictures and a tiny bit of video of him at the end of this. Um, and, oh, are you saying hello? I don't know if you heard that, we'll find out. Um, mm, I'm umming again, sorry. Yep, so he came home with me at the end of May. Um, and uh, it took him, yeah, you know, took him a little while to, to settle in, but not very long, really. Um, and he's got more and more confident, and he's very playful. Um, at the catchery, they thought he was between two and four, so they'd sort of plumped for three. I'm not so sure. I think he's, he's much more towards the two. Um, maybe even slightly younger, he might only be 18 months because he seems like a very young cat, really. Um, I haven't actually taken him to the vets yet for a check over. I'm going to do that soon because um, he's been an indoor cat so far um, while he's been settling in and then, you know, life and it was hideously hot as you may have, you know, experienced slash heard. Um, yeah, so we'll take him to the vet soon and see what they think and getting his jabs and then after a little while we'll see if he wants to go outside. I have got him a little jacket to see if he can uh, go on a lead but we'll, we shall see. We shall see how that goes. 
Um, and I think that is about it. Um, I just wanted to do a quick catch up for, you know, about cat related things. Um, and uh, I will start recording some knitting type content because there has I have been getting on with quite a lot of knitting in the last eight months. Um, and uh, yeah, also quite some time ago, I said that when I got to fifty subscribers, I would have a little giveaway um, of fifty grams of yarn. Um, we have hit 50 subscribers, thank you very much, um, and so in my next thing, which I'm planning to call an actual knitting podcast, um, I will officially do the giveaway notification because uh, obviously not everybody might want to just watch cat things. Strange people. <laughs> okay, yeah. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you are all well. Um, not too hot, not too cold, not too, too anything, really. I hope everything is nice <laughs> and lovely. Um, and uh, I will speak to you, hopefully, quite soon. Take care. Bye. Hello Archimedes, are you enjoying hiding under the sofa, half under the sofa, thinking that's saying hello? Yeah, hi. We're watching telly aren't we? You're watching the clock. It does tick, tick, doesn't it? Mm. Oh. Hello Archimedes. Hi. Yeah, uh huh. Say hello to your adoring public. Hello. Who's a pretty boy? You are the prettiest boy, aren't you? Yes, you are. Oh, big yawn. Thank you.